Hey, hey, you guys. Thanks for watching Dee Dee Croy with My Favorite Groomer. So today I'm going to demo a clipper that Andis dropped off to me. And it is called the Andis Certified Pro Grade Endurance Detachable Blade Clipper. It's supposed to be pretty close to the Andis 5 speed with the twirlable cord, which is I really, really want that, right? It is a uh, green, like the case. All right. Seems a bit more bulky. It does have the twistable cord here, which I'm curious to see if I can go, go get around with it without being a, a pain, because I hate my cord, right? But I also don't want to go into a cordless clipper because we've demoed those and have found that personally, I don't like leaving the, the blade or the clipper plugged in overnight for hours. I don't like to do all that. I don't like to keep it running. I don't like to run out of power. So there's a reason why I'm still stuck on the cord. I love the cord because the power is there. Uh, the cordless, which I still have yet to run that all the way down to dead to see if it uh, shows any difference in cutting at the edge of the battery life. All right, so our power button is here. Okay, let's get you guys in a little closer now since uh, we're kind of focusing in on the product. Here we go. All right, so it says <clears throat> high torque, long life, biz brushless motor, 10,000 plus hours, lightweight design, 20% lighter than the AGC2 model. So you'll see that if you're having the two, you're using the AGC or the two speed, it's probably going to be 20% lighter. It's a two speed performance, exclusive tangle free swivel cord, which is what I was, I was like, hey, take the swivel cord, put it on the Andis 5 speed, let me try it out, right? Brushless motor technology means optimum power and torque, constant blade speed for tough grooming jobs, increased reliability and motor life. <clears throat> it's going to come with, it looks like a tin blade and it looks like it's going to come with an ultra edge tin blade, which is, means it's not ceramic. Yep, so it's not ceramic. And you're just going to be able to put that back on there and here's the button to push that up and fold that out. Okay. All right. So we're going to give this baby a whirl today on this next pet coming in. All right. Just right off the bat, I went ahead and turned it on just to hear it. I still feel the power of my Andis 5 speed, okay? So it's gonna it's gonna be really difficult to get me. That just pops right off there, it looks like. So you can see your blade drive here. Let's unscrew it there, take that blade drive off. Here's your motor. This was already a little loose. Okay, there you go. Oh, okay, so it's got to the leverage here on the side, like this. So then um, you're gonna lay it in there and just pinch it and let it sit right in there. It comes off really easy though. Okay, I'm gonna put that back like that. It does, it'll pop off real easy. So just two hands there, pinch and pop it off or pinch and put it back in. The power button's gonna be new for me. I've, I've gotten used to the other power button, but it does have a locking. So once it's up there, it's not gonna slip unless you push down on this little piece right here. That's kind of cool. You know, it's not gonna just slip on and off while you're working. There's power one speed, two speed. So, you know, I'll probably be on the two speed all the time. I love this swivel, but you never know. It might just still just get in your way. You know what I'm saying? It is swiveling around pretty nicely, though. Okay. All right, we're going to do a four guard on this baby with a clipper that I'm t trusting out. He does need a muzzle. We're going to do the 10 blade. With a four guard, which is one quarter inch, one fourth inch. And here we go. Let's get started. See how it works.
So I'm not, I'm not uh, surprised, but this is not that bad of a clipper. And uh, the weight is good. I don't like how slippery the casing is. It's, there's no rubber gripping here or anything like that. I'm feeling myself really trying to hold on to it. Even compared to the glossy party of the Andes 5 Speed Colors. So this is just right here. This, you hear that? It's, there's nothing holding like gripping so it is I can feel myself training just a tad bit to make sure I hold on to the product it's clipping through the coat pretty well the cord spinning around I can't really feel it tugging besides the fact that it's a brand new cord and still kind of rolled up a little bit all right we're gonna just keep going we're gonna change into our seven blade and do the feet kind of down with the seven here Pulling my camera over here, isn't it? He does not like his feet messed with, he will bite me. So I'm going to put this cone head on him. I'm going to try to work with him by myself at this point. Mom, I told her we could do the feet together after. We usually do it beforehand, but I wanted to see how he was going to do today by himself. Have him looking at you, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's change out to our tin blade. Okay. 
Can you see he's wanting to face me? You can also see he's sitting down a lot. This might be a good one for him here. That's perfect for him. So this I'm calling right now is the Dog Up Mini Plus. Because we went from the regular size Dog Up Mini here into a plus size for the product. And it's a pre-order only at this point. You can pre-order at MyFavoriteGroomer.com under the kit section. This is a tool that I'm going to use when I feel like the aluminum Dog Up stand uh, might be or this may better be used other than the aluminum dog up stand that way if he starts to kick and jump which he is a pretty aggressive dog and that's what he likely will do once we start doing the pads then i'm not worried about aluminum under him and this can go fall on the floor and i don't have to truly worry about the product or him kicking it too hard okay so let's get our 40 blade on and let's see how he does because he really, I usually need mom to hold his head, so we'll see how he does with this. Focus. Don't get upset. Focus. Focus on it. Don't. Don't do it. That's fine. If you want to do that, just don't bite me. Don't. Don't. Good. Good. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Chop, chop. Oh, he's got right out of that. Just amazes me how they get out of that. 
when I put it on first and put the cone head on after. You know what I mean? It just amazes me. I don't understand. can't see if you're going to do that. I can't see. I can't see if you twist your body like that. No. No. Mm -mm. You're all right. You're all right. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. 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 I have a different hold and I will use it. I have a different hold and I will use that sucker. A couple more times. You keep fighting. I'm going to hold you the other way. I will hold you the other way. Yes, I will. Taking that off is not going to help your situation. Mm -mm. Taking that off is not going to help. I've never quit you. I don't plan on it. No, I've never hurt you before. Not here. Okay? You missing? It wasn't me. I didn't do it. I know what I'm doing. No, no, mm -mm. no, you have to let me have it. I got I got to get in there. I can't see your dew claws. You're going to act like that, okay? It's not going to work out for us. Well, I got to see what I'm doing. I can't be blind up in here. It's not going to work. That doesn't help us. Nope, doesn't help. It doesn't help if you do that. Nope, 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 nope. I'm not giving up. I'm not going to give up. Nope. Okay, hold on here. Let me just look. Okay, I'm not going to have, no. You're not going to, it's not going to work out for you. Nope, nope, nope. Well, I still got it. You're a little late. I still got it. There's one left. There's just one left here. Yeah, there you go. Great. Okay, now you've got to trim your feet here. I'm just going to come down with the tent instead of uh, doing all this other kind of time-consuming work.
Let me double check the face stuff here. Four guard all over will bite. Mm. I got my two guard reverse tabular head today, I believe. I'm going to get some of this off, in my opinion. I'm going to go reverse here. Don't bite. Don't bite. Not that much, so if you keep it out of there, then it'll be in a better place. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Let's see what we got here. Let's check your face out. brush a dog's face if he's going to bite you. How are you supposed to do that? How are you supposed to accomplish that? Hmm? Like, it's not okay. You know what I'm saying? Brushing is essential to a dog's world. Put this on while I do his, go back and do his ears a little bit. Just trim them around.
No. No. Look down. No. 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 No, no. Okay. All right, let's go to the back. Go back. All right, doing some final brush out and double check the coat before we call it a day. With aggressive dogs, dogs that'll bite during hair cutting, we just keep it simple and quick. And probably I could just, we're pretty much done with everything. I'm going to go ahead and just muzzle him from here and uh, hopefully not have to come back with the cone. But we'll see how it goes. Brush everything out. Let me get some leave-in conditioner. My favorite spray bottle. I can already feel how silky smooth that'll be. I love this stuff. Come back, get your four guard back on here, which is a quarter inch again. And double check some stuff. Do the seven down the leg, so come back with that. this far. Come here. We've gone this far. Mm -hmm.
go back that way if you want, but watch the tail, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to cut in there, just watch your tail, your tail action. He looks down, make sure he doesn't lick. Up, up, stop. I see some stuff hanging there, but if it's more than that, get your template out. Don't risk it. It's not worth it. Under the armpit, don't use your scissors. No, don't look at me like that. No, Okay. Let me see. Let me see. No, no. It's not anyone you know. Some cologne? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I sweep this? Be right with ya. All right, we're good to go. All right, when it comes to this clipper here, I've got to say. It was delightful to use. I didn't love the case. 
it moved fast enough to, for me to do the job. It didn't feel like it moved as fast as my Andis 5 speed being a corded clipper. I did like the flip around here. I felt like also the roundness of the entire casing was a little thicker for me because I like to whip. I do this whipping thing where I actually flip, you you know, uh, totally turn around my clipper. I liked that it, I could twist it here. This was really cool. But I also prefer just the thinner. See how th much thicker this is? I preferred the and a five speed. I feel like it fits my hand better. This is real, real much more rounded. Whereas like I can put almost, you know, look how much thumb room I've got here where I can really wrap my hand around it versus this one. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of getting used to though. So if you're going to start with a clipper like this, you may, may start with this and never even realize the difference because you never tried an Andis five speed. But once you've, once you've gotten to where I feel like I have, where I kind of compare everything to the Andis 5-speed. The width of the casing, the light, the light or heaviness of it, the type of quality or the type of material used in the casing all affect speed. Speed being I like to do a dog in one hour because the dogs I do are senior disabled aggressive in the mo in the, for the most part. Not always, but because of the way I decided to run my business and build my business, I do grooms by the hour. So I can't have any little thing that would slow me down. And this may slow me, this would slow me down. First of all, to the speed. The speed of this clipper is much different than the Andis 5 speed. I know that right off the bat. Could I still do the same amount of work? Yeah, it's just going to take me a little longer. You might, if this is the first clipper you use, you might not find that there's a huge difference. So we may or may not bring this on. I can tell you right now, this will be on the used section of my website at a discounted rate. So if you want to pick this up, definitely goes to go to the used section. There will only be one at this time. If we end up carrying it, just don't forget about the swivel end and that it's a two-speed. Um, I don't know if it comes in any other colors, but we'll check. We may or may not be carrying this. We tr try to carry a very low cost. I think it's called EBC Clipper. So if you're starting off as a groomer, that is something you can definitely get into. A good starter groomer or an at-home groomer. Someone that's not doing you know, multiple dogs per day. All right, make sure you pick up your clippers with us at myfavoritegroomer.com under clippers. And we are a wholesaler for Andis, so don't think we get our products anywhere else when it comes to Andis, Andis products. Thank you, Andis, for letting me carry your product. And again, shop with us at myfavoritegroomer.com. If this video has helped you, please make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel so you get, and then hit the bell so you get notifications, and be sure to share it because we'd love, we'd love your help in growing our channel. Thanks so much. We appreciate you. We'll talk to you later.